Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to be talking about the fall of Babylon. As a matter of fact, the Bible actually says, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. It is in the process of falling as we speak. We see so many things that are unraveling right before our eyes. Even the infrastructure is falling apart. Um, those that are watching this uh, have a great deal of sadness. We are seeing that. Uh, there was a particular video that had been circulating on Facebook, which is where I saw it. I'm not sure if it's anywhere else. But it was an image of an old guy sitting at a picnic table um, out in the rain. Um, it was pouring down rain. And uh, I believe he had a sandwich and a drink and some soup or something. And he was just getting rained on and there was like a little... Um, some type of animated alien that walked past. Uh, there was a little thing of fire behind him or something like that. It was almost like they, they edited all of those things in. But the caption said, this is me uh, watching the world um, fall apart and um, trusting and believing in God's plan or something like that. But um, I said that to say this. Uh, people are starting to joke about it now because you can no longer ignore the fact that the world is falling apart. America is falling apart. These other nations are falling apart. And so, you know, some try to make light of it or try to kid around with it or joke around with it. But the reality is this thing is happening and it's happening fast. I want to show you a series of clips uh, where we are going to see uh, what is going on in this present administration. Uh, the people that are being hired, uh, the folk that are not qualified, uh, the, the positions that were once held in high regard, now they are appointing clowns. And um, it is an embarrassment uh, to, I'm just going to say it, y'all. It's an embar embarrassment to so-called white folk because they have a lot of pride in America. They take a great deal of pride in America but forget the fact that this is stolen land, that they stole this, this country from another people. They didn't just steal it. They unalived people to take what they wanted. And so now it is an, it is an embarrassment to them to see all of this unraveling the way that it is. And some are leaving the country. Some are screaming. Some are whining and, and complaining. Some are in fear. Some just don't know what to do, but there is utter embarrassment. But guess what, y'all? The Most High is laughing. He is laughing. Now, before I get into some scripture, I'm going to share with you a video clip of some of this unraveling um, as it is happening. Um, in the video clip, too, I want you all to, to make note or take note, should I say, uh, the very first part of the clip, it's, uh, it's kind of eerie looking at it. And um, unfortunately, people kid and joke about these things. And I saw a lot of that under the video where I saw this. But a lot of people are saying that Trump looks sick and almost dead in this particular clip. But it's going to be followed by a whole bunch of other stuff, too. That, that sheer embarrassment that America, I'm going to say America because this is not an embarrassment for us. This is an embarrassment for America, the establishment, the people who came over here and stole all of it, because this is what they set up. This is the way they have things going right now, because this is not a God-fearing country, although they claim to be or pretend to be, they are not. They, they do not fear the Most High. Anyway, take a look and a listen at this video clip, and of course, you know, I will be right back.
Instead, Republicans are trying to bastardize the term DEI to be a slur. When Justice Kadanji Brown Jackson was up for confirmation and when Vice President Harris was added to the ticket, they called them DEI hires. They want you to believe that a Harvard graduate with over 20 years of experience, who happens to be a black woman, is not qualified, but a Fox News personality is qualified to run the Department of Defense and the uh, WWE executive is qualified to run the Department of Education. Let's be real. There is an attempt to create a, a, a direct correlation between our race, being a black person and our qualifications. So much as to say that there is no way to be a black woman. There is no resume that a black person could have that would qualify them unless that black person is a Republican. And there is a quota there. It's weak. It's no secret. The Senate is moving forward on confirming more of President Biden's judicial nominees. Yesterday, we confirmed Judge Embry Kidd to serve as a lifetime appointment as a circuit judge to the 11th Circuit. Last night, I filed cloture on another nine nominees to serve as district judges across the country. So J.D. Vance didn't show up for a vote. Uh, he sort of passed it off as, look, I have more important things to do. I was interviewing candidates for FBI director. He tweeted this. I tend to think it's more important to get an FBI director who will dismantle the deep state than it is for Republicans to lose a vote 49-46 rather than 49-45. He later deleted that post. And then yesterday he showed up. <laughs> Again, I, it begs the question, where have Republicans been? Why did it take the president-elect to say, hey, get your butts out there? Why didn't you do that before? Well, I, I think everybody's going to show up. Of course, we all, you know, so most of us were here. Look, Donald Trump is actually telling us what the criterion is for every one of these jobs. And that is complete loyalty to Donald Trump not experience, not qualifications that we would ordinarily consider, not not how um, uh, how good you would be at this work, not loyalty to the people of the United States, not loyalty to the Constitution, absolute loyalty to Donald Trump. And I think he's just making this clear with every single one of these picks, but particularly with the Gates appointment, it's the reminder to the Democrats right now who are in charge for the next 50 days that we have a responsibility to help take care of the judicial system, to help strengthen our court system. We've got 28 judges out there who have been nominated, who are through the process. We need to spend every single minute making sure that those judges get confirmed. This could be very harmful. It'd be one thing if this guy had a reputation as one, an extraordinarily gifted legislator, two, a tremendously gifted trial attorney, a proven prosecutor, somebody who had managed a big law firm and had demonstrated legal ability. But no, he has none of those attributes. In fact, he is, he, he has a reputation on the floor of the House for having shown pictures of his of his conquest to his fellow members. So if, if that's the best you can do, you're not going to get confirmed. As you know, Gates is Trump's pick for attorney general. He was the subject of an ethics committee investigation over whether he engaged in sexual misconduct and illicit drug use. The committee was supposed to vote on whether to release that report on Gates today. But now that Gates has resigned from Congress, the report has been scrapped. What are your thoughts on Matt Gates? Can he actually get confirmed or is, or, or is it not he's not getting confirmed and everybody knows that the more you get to know Pete Hexeth and Tulsi Gabbard the more you're gonna like her the more you get to know Matt Gates the less you're gonna like him I'm gonna be really surprised if he can get confirmed right uh, and uh, so would I uh, especially after we blew up Kevin McCarthy I had no plan B I mean what the hell is going on here and their cabinet picks so far I mean these are like beyond insane Someone who is credibly accused of having sex with an underage girl. Someone who sucks up to foreign dictators and has attracted major concern that they can't be trusted to protect America's secrets from our adversaries. Someone who paid hush money to cover up a sexual assault accu accusation, you know, to lead our military. Be he's picked because Donald Trump likes him on Fox News. S someone who says that tap water turns kids gay. I mean, this is the dream team? This is the dream team? Really? I mean, seriously, it would be funny if it weren't so sad. Okay, so right now America is the laughing stock of the world. I like how the guy at the end pointed out that 
uh, Donald Trump just because he likes this guy that works on Fox News. He makes him, he, he puts him over the Department of uh, Defense. <laughs> this, is, this is really tripped out at this point. This is really tripped out. But this is what y'all wanted, right? This is what you all wanted. I want to say this too. I, I, I got to say this. I, I continue to say this because people get it all wrong when you point out some of the over the top things dealing with Donald Trump. This ship was going down regardless, even if Kamala was in office because it was prophesied. The difference is there are some outlandish policies, some over the top policies that are being plugged into place. I believe that um, Donald Trump and his people, I'm gonna say, they have taken over America. Now you still have those who are uh, just quietly sitting by hoping that it's for the better. They don't realize that if they were to just stick their heads in the Bible for a minute, they would realize, no, this thing is going down. It's gonna fall hard too. America is falling apart and it's going to fall hard because it was prophesied because the sins of America are great in the world. Not just here, but around the world, they have spread their venom all over the place. And the thing has to come down because it was prophesied, right? And so um, there are those who are watching in utter disbelief as they, they call this their beloved country. But again, I'm going to point it out as often as I as I feel the need to, this was not their country to begin with. They stole it after red rumming the original inhabitants of the land. So it's still laughable to me that they continue to call this their country. But their country is falling apart at the hands of the Most High, meaning he has put all of, all of the players in place to make sure that this thing comes down. It's all going to come tumbling down because this is what America has earned. They have earned this fall because they refuse to repent of the ills and of the wickedness of the persecution of the Most High's people. They just refuse. Even when it comes to what they feed the population, you have other countries saying, look, I'm not feeding that garbage to my, my citizens. But America, they care more about the bottom line, these corporations, the big money folk, the 1%, they care more about them, but they've somehow convinced those who are not in the 1%, they've convinced them that they care about them and that they're going to look out for their best interests. No, they are just using you. They are simply using you to get what they want. They need the middle population of their people to somewhat keep other people in line right while they don't get their hands dirty where you can see them. their hands are dirty but they hide their hands they let everybody else get their hands dirty while they do their dirt you see and somehow they've got forgotten that the most high is looking at all of this and that he is not pleased and according to biblical prophecy in which they claim to be a country all about the bible according to biblical prophecy judgment is coming it is coming and it's coming fast. And he will not hold his peace when that judgment comes. There was some scripture that I wanted to uh, take a look at. Let me get those for you real quick. I hope that I did not lose my page on these scriptures. It amazes me though how uh, the world just doesn't understand who they are dealing with when dealing with the Most High. He is not playing at anyone. So I'm going to be reading from Psalms 37. I'm not going to read the whole chapter, but a good portion of it. Um, Psalms 37 says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the herb. Mmm, isn't that something? Verse nine says, for evil doers, let me just go back up a little bit. It says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil, for evil doers shall be cut off, 
But those that wait upon the Most High, they shall inherit the earth. Hmm? Verse 10 says, For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Woo! <laughs> I was asking some questions yesterday. I said, the people who pretend to be the moral authority in the world, I wish they could show me some proof and some receipts and evidence that they've gone everywhere that their feet have landed and established peace and shalom and tranquility. Just show us the receipts and we won't say another word about it. Give us the proof, not just your word that, that because I say so, but show us the evidence that you've gone everywhere around the world and established peace. Because according to the Bible, according to the Bible, biblical prophecy, the meek shall inherit the earth. Now that's something right there. The meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. So peace is going to be in abundance, meaning, sounds like the Most High said, um, when he, evildoers shall be cut off. Is he saying they're going to be cut off from the earth because the meek are going to inherit it? Mm. Y'all better get in the book and find out what's going on. See where you fit in all of this. Because verse 12 says, the wicked plotteth against the just, and gnashes upon his, him with his teeth. Then it says, it says this. The Most High shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. When he say he is, he's talking about a whole lot of people. It's not just one person. The Most High is going to laugh at the wicked because he sees that their day is coming. I'm telling y'all folk better get on the right side of biblical prophecy. If you have not repented, you better repent. Turn from your wicked ways because judgment is coming. As a matter of fact, it's already begun and it is making its rounds. The devil is going about like a roaring lion seeking whom he has permission to devour. Anyway, I'm done. Chop it up in the comment section as always. Keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like, and subscribe.